Hey guys, how you doing? JP Sarricolia here. And today I want to talk about a piece that is going on pre-order at SciShow, uh, the Venom one scale statue by PCS. Uh, this was a highlight for me at the New York SciShow Con. Uh, it was an impressive piece. I think it was the showstopper of the entire show. They have other things, but I think PCS really brought the house down as a company with the stuff that showcased it wasn't much but what they did was good enough it was better than what actually SciShow was presenting in my opinion and Venom was to me the highlight uh, I really like this piece um, it's very very good so we're gonna talk about it today uh, another thing that I need to highlight is the fact that now PCS has changed its name well it's the, st the same initials but it went from pop culture shock to uh, what is that premium collectible studio I think that's the name now uh, you know, some legalities in regards to the previous owner was Jerry Macaluso, a person that I admire a lot for many, many years, and I still admire. Uh, but there were some things here and there with the whole, le you know, legality of the change of names and all that. You know, he sold the company. So now the new owners are doing new things. In my opinion, it's exciting to see PCS coming ahead because the company always produced good stuff. There were some, you know, rough things here and there sometimes, but beyond that, I think the, the products were good, although they took forever just to come out. And hopefully the new owners can change that mindset. But in, in any case, let's get into what we have here in front of us. I'm going to read the description before we get into the pictures. Uh, he's an alien symbiote, or in civilian terms, a parasite. Uh, SciShow and PCS presents the Venom Wanter scale statue inspired by the fan favorite character's intimidating appearance in the hit mobile game Marvel Strike Force. I have never played this game. I'm not trying, I'm never going to. I, I don't care much about those. Uh, the Venom One Third Scale statue measures a monstrous 39 inches tall, which is huge, at 20 uh, 22 inches wide and 27 inches deep as a terrifying towering anti-hero leaps into action directly based on his Marvel Gameverse design. Standing on a swirling symbiote base, Venom is ready to rip into his foes with every weapon at his disposal. Uh, tongue, teeth, and tons of claws. And down here, uh, the dynamic Venom Wanter scale statue is fully sculpted from head to toe with detailed musculature and black symbiote tendrils is knocking off his body. The statue has white web shooters, eyes, and spider symbol uh, on his back and chest with three-dimensional depth adding shadows to the gruesome design. The statue includes two portraits, a grinding portrait that shows off his sharp toothed smile and an open-mouthed portrait where Venom displays his twisting tongue, eager to devour enemies like the tasty symbiote snacks they are. And recruit a powerful anti-hero ally to your Marvel collection with the Venom Wanter scale statue by PCS today. Pre-orders for the Venom Wanter scale statue will begin on Thursday, October 29th today between 12 p.m. 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, and the statue will be priced at uh, $1,749.99 USD. That is really steep for a statue this scale. But at the same time, again, this is a huge, huge statue. All right, now we're looking at the pictures, and I'm telling you, this piece is impressive, regardless of the price. You know, and I know a lot of people are not going to, I'm not happy about it. This is a large, large one third scale piece. Of course, he's a large uh, character, uh, but man, it's so, so impressive. And I don't care about the game, uh, this mobile game. This is really a good piece that you can display with other one third scale Marvel pieces. You know, even I think that you can even display with one fourth, in my opinion. Yes, yeah, some people will say, well, it's too big. Some people will just bring out the, you know, the Marvel encyclopedia and they tell you the measurements and the right scale and all that. You know, you're always going to find those, which I don't have a problem with. But in my opinion, if you match it well uh, with a large piece, a large one fourth scale is going to look impressive. I always consider a Venom a really extra large character. And over time, over the years, in more modern renditions, he is becoming bigger and bigger than when he was introduced. And I have no problem with that because the symbiote really changes shape. Eddie Brooke was never a really large character, like a large person. He was large in comparison to Peter Parker, but when he pretty much unites with the symbiote, he becomes really, really large, uh, almost as large as I would say Hulk. And Hulk is a character also that has increased in, in dimensions over time. So I think that you're not going to have a problem matching this up with other smaller pieces. It's 39 inches tall, and this is a mock-up, so we, we can see somebody standing out right next to it. 
and i love this i love the portraits they look fantastic you know we we saw the one with the tongue which looks great but man the smiling portrait looks amazing and i love the detail a lot of detail in this piece you know all the tendrils and all that stuff this looks terrific i don't think i have seen a venom as as good as this one and i've seen really good venoms you know there have been a lot of great venoms out there but i think this surpasses every other venom that has been produced before i love the detail as you can see and the eyes the wider eyes you know it's just good this is a good piece love the teeth terrific look at that man love that i'm not happy about the price but i can tell you that this is the ultimate rendition of, of in this case venom for sure and i even love the base that works with it with the whole thing i love this pose right here man that looks great these pictures are good and we also have more dimensions this is a very large wide piece but man it's impressive some people might point out that maybe some problems in the feature with some leaning to the front because the way he is sleeping but um nonetheless i think it, it's i think it's fine this picture kind of gives us a better idea i think it's going to be fine as long as as this is strong this base i think the the piece is going to sit well it's like it's really having a balance act right there which is good now on this angle people might have the problem with uh, man but it's just impressive i'm impressed by the the pretty much the way they did render this character and i don't see who sculpted it but whoever did did a terrific job the trend tendrils are good at every angle you can see the paint up is not just a flat black it's just it changes a little bit with the lighting of course and of course you know they these are professional photos but you can see some of uh if you really look up close you can see some of that shading and the change of color which is good it's very nice i love the tongue but also i think i'm more impressed by the uh, the tongueless portrait i really impressed by those teeth it, they're both great terrific job there you can see the chest the claws, the arms, very good. These are going to be very... You have to be careful with this. You don't want to break those. I'm guessing all of this is fully sculpted. Now, here you can see there's a line right here. I can see there. This is where they're going to attach this. Hopefully, by on the production piece, you don't get to see the line. Although, in black, it's hard to really distinguish that. But hopefully, you don't get to see those lines. That's the only line I've seen so far. And I think probably one right here. But that one is hidden because of the contortion of the muscles, which is fine. But man, look at that. Really nice. I see some shadings of blue and all that. Nice. Purple. Different coloration there. This is a very, very impressive piece. We can see this base. Definitely, this is going to uh, pair so well. If you already have the Game Reverse Spider-Man, the base, of course, on the video game. I think this is going to be uh, pretty much, they're going to pair so well together. Yeah, I'm impressed. This is an impressive piece. Um, uh, you know, I really like it. I, I, I dig it. I wish it was cheaper. I wish it was smaller. This will be a perfect one six scale piece in for me, for my collection. It will surpass what Eric Sosa did with his Venom, for sure, in my opinion. I wasn't crazy about the Venom pool. I don't think it's necessary as a character and is exp an expensive piece. But if you have to choose between Venom pool and this, I'd go for this uh, because this one can match up with, you know, a, a classic Marvel um, Universe collection, you know, and I don't think Venom pool is, is really that necessary. But so, yeah, I, it's really impressive. I, I will tell you this. I'm definitely impressed with uh, PCS and I, I hope the best for this company now in this new venture and the route that they're following they're doing a lot of stuff with the gi joe they're doing stuff for you know transformers with the game reverse uh so it is impressive and of course they they continue to do stuff for uh you know street fighter and um it's impressive to see what the company is doing uh i'm definitely i'm not happy about the price gotta be honest with you i don't think a lot of people are gonna jump on this right away although a lot of people are impressed by it it's just the you know the justification of how much can you spend on this when there's other things out there that you can spend money on so i think that's going to be the 
Um, difficult to determine exactly who is going to do this, who is going to really uh, pull the trigger. But I, I believe that there's people out there that are impressed by this and are going to pull the trigger. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to have a very limited number in the end. But of course, only Tam can tell. Uh, now, what is your opinion? What do you think about this piece? Are you impressed? You like it? You don't like it? You hate it? You don't like the price? Uh, let me know in the comments below. So once again, my friends, thanks for watching. God bless. Take care. And I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.